Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about uh, some NFL news. So we're gonna, I'm just going to get all these news videos out of the way, because I'm going to start doing more MLB, like recaps, finds Dodger games. Like, I'm going to do the Phillies Brewers series, that three game series uh, this week. So, yeah, I'll do some more MLB stuff as well. And I'll have another MLB video today with my most surprising players. If you didn't watch my most disappointing players video last night, go watch that. So today I'll do my most disappointing players. But let's talk about that the NFL. It's not the gap in here. Um, so first thing I'll talk about is uh, some sad news uh, with the Cowboys uh, today. Uh, Cowboys legendary offensive lineman uh, Larry Allen. Uh, he he uh, suddenly uh, passed away today at 52 years old. I believe he was on a vacation with his family in Mexico. I think it's what it said. Um... One of the best offensive linemen to ever play uh, in the NFL. Really the strongest man to ever touch a football field. Easily one of the best offensive linemen all time. Just absolute beast on the field. Man, died at 52. I know people will speculate and shit like that, but I'm not going to do that. Big loss to the football world, but the best guard to ever play to me. I'm never going to watch him play, obviously, because I wasn't, bo wasn't born then. But, he took good care of himself. And he's relatively young. So, I'm not going to speculate what what he died. I know people speculate every time somebody dies, they're like, ooh, vaccine. I ain't going to say that shit. Um, but he, he also had one of the greatest chase down tackles in history. Man, that's that sucks. Big loss for the for the Cowboys and just in the NFL world. So thoughts are with uh, his family and loved ones. And pound for pound, one of the most athletic humans. And uh, Emmett Smith uh, made a trip made a tribute video today, like talked about it. And uh, yeah, he suddenly died while he's on vacation in Mexico with his family on a Sunday. So but it feels like he passed away suddenly. It's becoming frequent, but people die every day. I mean, it's unfortunate, but some people just die suddenly. It just, just sucks. I mean, that's really have to say for that. So thoughts, and prayers with his family. Well, we had some big uh, two stories that come out this morning that I wanted to talk about. Um, first one, uh. Some breaking news today, Justin Jefferson is signing a four-year, $140 million extension with the hashtag Vikings, uh, per Adam Schaefer this morning. So the Vikings have finally got that deal done with uh, Jay Jettis. So it looks like we're going to get that JJ to JJ for years to come. Low key, he could have he got more. He could have got more than that. But I think he deserves it. I mean, he's one of the best receivers in the league. But I would have liked to see him go to a contending team because I just don't think the Vikings would be a contending team. I don't think J.J. McCarthy's going to be the future for the Vikings. But it's about time. But I thought he could have got more than that. I'm looking forward to what uh, my Cowboys give C.D. Lingham whenever he gets his extension. Uh, but yeah, second, the next thing I'm going to talk about... Um, that came out today. Uh, per your, another report, uh, people close to the team expect uh, hashtag Giants uh, tied in Darren Waller uh, to retire. Uh, per right Adam Schefter. So it looks like Darren Waller's uh, people close to the team expect him to retire. Yeah, I mean, if you lose a baddie like Kelsey Plum, uh, that would make me lose my mind too. Kelsey Plum really ended this man's career. But being for real, uh, he had two year, two good years as a late tight end. Then he got his three year, fifty one million dollar deal, and basically, I guess he was trying to enjoy his financial freedom. He also had nineteen million guaranteed from the contract. So, hopefully, enjoys his life after football. But maybe he needs to retire from the public too after releasing um, those uh, cringe songs he's been doing. And I mean, that's probably the best because honestly, he's probably washed at this point. He's a football player. 
Probably one of the worst. Probably that was a bad giant trade for the Giants there. Stan Waller didn't do much for him. Uh, to be honest. So some news yesterday. Remember when we uh, talked? We talked about that Brandon McManus uh, allegations where he allegedly sexually assaulted. I think it was on a team plane or something like that. It was that something like that. Was the so yesterday uh, the hashtag commanders. They're releasing kicker Brandon McManus following allegations of a sexual assault uh, from last year. No matter what the outcome is of this, he... If, I don't know, like... I mean, Matt Arazia, remember when he was accused of sexual assault but turned out the woman lied, now he's back in the NFL? If it turns out she lied, maybe he'll be back in the NFL. If this comes out like, oh, it's false and she lied, but... I th people, I feel like the teams now just release them to, to avoid bad PR. But if this is true, then his career is probably done. If it's not true, though, maybe he could be back. I'll we'll watch to see if there's a pr there's proof. But they just don't want bad PR because commanders have always feel like they have bad PR. And so, per Adam Schefter, uh, yesterday, a resolution in the alleged free agent tampering case of the Atlanta Falcons and Philadelphia Eagles is likely to come this week uh, per Lee Swords. The things from the Atlanta Falcons they tampered with Kirk Cousins. The Eagles tampered with Saquon Barkley. I don't know. I don't know what this tampering is going to be. I mean, it'll probably be like a second, third round draft pick. But yeah, there's more about this uh, likely coming this week. I don't. I don't know. It'll probably be like a late round pick, took away and maybe a fine. Is what I'll say. Uh, a few days ago, um, Gable Steepson, uh, an Olympic gold medalist and one of the most dominant college wrestlers in NCAA history, is signing with the Bills per his agent, Carter Chow. Stevenson now will try to join Bob Hayes' as the only athlete to win a Super Bowl ring and an Olympic Olymp Olympic gold medal. Oh uh, yes, WWE legend Gable Steveson. Dude got released by WWE after one match because the fans hated him after, uh, you know, he sexually saw somebody, he got away with it. Now he's in the NFL. So, uh, six foot, six foot one, 275 pound Gable Steve's expected to play Davidson Lines, something he hasn't done during his athletic career. In fact, this is the first time Steve's ever put on a pair of, put up, ever put on a pair of cleats with a recent workout with the Bills. Oh, we'll see, uh, I mean, he's Jack, but I guess we'll see how long this lasts. Hopefully, it lasts longer than um, his uh, WWE career. And they've officially signed Gable Stevenson and released Matt Hacks. They released their punter, signed a defensive tackle. They really just be signing anyone these days. Um, uh, remember we talked about uh, Isaiah Buds at Chief Steve Twyman? Well, he he's turned himself in. To the Tulo Tuscaloosa County Jail on Thursday after he allegedly mistreated two dogs. So now he's officially looks like gonna be in jail. Um, yeah, it's really on today here. So until next month, peace.